doing this a little bit weird. Man, I'm so um, stuck with just my phone and um, my other camera definitely does not work. So uh, today um, I got my monthly awakening box. I had to take a break for a long time and I'm really excited that I got to start back up again. So awakening the box is this little painted box. It's mostly stones, but a few other little surprises are usually in there. Um, and I will put the link. It comes through Crate Joy. Crate Joy. And one of the reasons I like it, it's uh, one, stones and crystals. Yay. Um, two, the little surprises, which are always very nice. A um, little bit of art you get with it. And it's very inexpensive. So um, per month, the small box is only thirteen thirty-three, which is a really good price for what you get. Um, and I've always been really happy with everything I've gotten from them. So I thought I'd go through it today. So the box that you see on the screen right now is not, that's holding my tarot cards. So that's not um, where I'm at. Like I said, I had a little bit of difficulty so I could do this, but this is the, the little box here. Um, it just comes with a little, very plain little box and it'll say, um, awakening in the box. Right there um, but you open it up and there's nifty stamp um, crystal stamp in there and usually it looks like this so we'll go through what there is um, this month it's a pretty waterfall and cabin and it looks like an Asian and probably Japanese by the look um, uh, let's see what we get so this usually has a note a note from the curator in there um, welcome to the June Awakening box. Inner peace. This box needs three crystals or minerals that are vibrational line to help you cultivate a life of serenity and inner peace. There's an amazing Awakening the Box exclusive and inner peace enamel pin, as well as a cleansing Shasta sage bundle. Um, use it to reduce space and all your neg negativity and energy that may be holding back. I'm feeling this happy. Oh, I'm going through a cleansing right now. Um. So that's nice. Uh, and they have a Facebook and Instagram um, for you to follow. And they'll, they do post meditations on there. Um, and then there's information for contacting them if you need to. But this is cool. And then you can see on the bottom there. There you go. They'll stamp again a little bit of color. And that one is some purples and everything. Okay. So, a little tiny sage bundle, of course. It's good. I have a lot of sage, so I think I need to burn it more often. Um, you always get these little cards. Again, I love these. So, ooh. Ruby and um, Zoisite. There's a little information about stuff about the crystal. What chakra it aligns with. Oh, emerald. And I got a second emerald card. Hmm. I don't know if that means there's two pieces or if not. I might have to contact them. Um, they use. Oh, here we go. Here's that pin. This Okay, this one is the ruby um, zoisite. Come on. You can focus. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of like a green pyrite. Well, I don't like the bits in there. That's what it looks like. It's, it's definitely not pyrite, but it looks that way. Um... Soda light, so <laughs> I definitely am missing a card. Sadness. But yeah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I was saying, so I've noticed that you'll see lapis, and they'll say it's lapis, but it'll look more like soda light. Soda light is very violet blue. Definitely goes towards more of the crystal spectrum and, is, and can be way more marble, though I've seen it much deeper. Um, and lapis goes more towards the green, so 
Um, you definitely want to look at those carefully. One of the things I'd really like to get is a mineral stretch kit to help me identify more stones. I really like going on walks. Um, when I visit my parents in Arizona and the lake they live in, there's a lot of amethyst and things. And I love going diving for amethyst. I do it a lot. And they laugh at me. What is, <laughs> I'm going to have to pop some of those rocks one of these days. Um, but the emerald here, um, I'm wearing emerald right now in my little locket. I don't have a piece of spade. Mine are just tiny chips. This is really nice. Um, tumbled. So um, that's what we can in the box. It's a nice little um, box. I've gotten a few things um, from them before. Uh, I've gotten uh, lots of sprays, oils, incense. I got a free tarot reading once, um, some incense holders, a few trinkets, um, and crystals of all shapes and sizes. Um, this box usually has the smaller ones, but every once in a while you get a big one, um, which is really interesting. Uh, and you get a lot of raw stones, which are nice. Um, which you don't usually get in the box. So I really like this. Um, they do have different levels that you can check out if you want. Um, but I usually just do the lowest level. It's just, it's just a nice, nice little gift. Oh, this one smells very different too. Very tea-like. It's a Shasta sage, not white sage. So this smells more like culinary sage. But it still has a nice and sweeter smell instead of a woody smell. Well, that's it. I just wanted to share with you the box. I'll put the link down below. And uh, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed.